So Bernie Sanders had the uh, the climate crisis town hall yesterday. It was a town hall on climate change. And um, I got to watch part of it. The, the part I watched was good. It was very science-based, which is nice to see uh, in our populace. Um, but, you know, I tweeted this out where I said, I don't mean to be a buzzkill, but in some ways I really feel like town halls are the left's equivalent of thoughts and prayers. Now, what I mean by that, I don't mean, when I say left's equivalent, I don't mean it's as useless as thoughts and prayers. It isn't. But it's the equivalent of thoughts and prayers in the sense that it's a lot of talking, but nothing really changes. And this is coming from a place, again, I'm not trying to be a buzzkill, but um, this is coming from a place of I'm a dude who's tried to pay attention politically most of my adult life from the age of 18 up until now i've been to many meetings many town halls many gatherings many uh uh manifestos we're talking moments and it begins and ends with talking um and i'm not trying to shame anybody because i include myself in this i've i'm guilty of this too i participate and I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to actually have an initiative for municipal internet. Um, it's not easy to do. Acting is not easy in every way. Even acting in the in, in Hollywood, in the Hollywood sense, not easy to do. I don't get many acting gigs. Um, I hardly get any. I I wish I got more. I maybe I should. I, I guess I could change that. Like I can't. But acting in many ways is uh, is not easy. And town halls can be involved, of course. But, you know, in so many ways, I, I see all these, these town halls, these discussions, and then nothing happens. We talk about gun violence, nothing happens. We talk about uh, climate change, nothing happens. We talk about health care, nothing help and happens. I have been to so many uh, speeches in the academic sense, uh, in the academic realm, in the uh, city realm, talking about single payer healthcare, we still don't have it. And and I think part of my uh, part of my thoughts, the reason I feel the way I do, is because I uh, I also have a background in academia. I went to grad school, and if ever there was an institution where there is talk and talk and talk and talk and no action whatsoever, in fact, action is frowned upon. It's academia. I know there's some exceptions to those rules. There's some academics out there that are doing amazing stuff. But they are the exception. They are not the majority. And I speak from experience there. I was sitting in a classroom while Occupy was going on. And real quick, I realized I was on the wrong side. Not that my classroom was against Occupy, but you know what I mean. Wrong side in the sense that you know, we're sitting here in our ivory tower talking about it and critiquing the people that are actually doing something. I wasn't, but some of my colleagues were. So, so I don't know. Do I, does anyone disagree with me? <laughs> Again, I'm not trying to be a buzzkill. I'm not trying to put down town halls altogether. I'm not saying they're useless. I'm not saying they don't have their place. I'm just saying... All too often, I've seen, and uh, Black Uni Griffin, <laughs> I screwed up your name, Al Gore doing 24 hours climate change broadcasting all day. Yep, and he has institutes, and he has uh, apprentices that he takes under his wing. Al Gore does that. Uh, what is he doing? Like, like what what's happening as a result of that? Up until recently, Al Gore was okay with fracking, by the way. Al Gore, uh, climate guy, cool with fracking. And I'm basing that information off of one of his, uh, somebody who was an apprentice of his, who tried to tell me fracking was okay because Al Gore's cool with it now. Emos, we need action instead of talk. I'm with you. Slow News Day says if you're going to organize a town hall, organize some demonstrations to go along with it. I'm with you. Um, Celeste says, Ron, it is spreading awareness. Uh, that's 
Spreading awareness is, is just a colloquial that, that just means nothing. Spreading awareness means literally nothing. Spreading awareness is the type of thing you hear on, um, on like, Chelsea Handler's show where a, a bunch of rich celebrities talk about something that's going on in child trafficking to make them feel better about themselves, and then they sign a check over to some predatory uh, nonprofit who's about maybe 5% of what they do um, goes to actual change, and 95% goes to padding their, their own, own pockets. pockets. Um, that's what I hear when I hear spreading awareness. Um, so... I wish I shared your enthusiasm there. I don't. Um, the time for talk was decades ago. I agree. Uh, I disagree somewhat. Cool. It pushes out the narrative to combat disinformation. Fair enough. It does that. But if you're already talking to a group of people who already agree with you, what are you really accomplishing? And if your stream is just watched by a group of people who already agree with you, what are you really accomplishing? And again, I'm not trying to be... Again, I'm not saying town halls are useless. I'm not saying spreading information is useless. Obviously, it's not. But to just kind of be like, well, there's more awareness now. Is there A and B? So what if there is? Uh, the comedian uh, Doug Stanhope has a great bit on uh, how he feels about spreading awareness. Um, spreading awareness. And I put that in quotes because that's kind of where it belongs you know and, and i get what you guys are saying i don't disagree with you 100 percent. i see what you're talking about but um again we needed to act on climate change yesterday we are behind and hey i'm i recycle i compost you know i'm trying to do but i mean again that that's just we need legit policy changes and legit changes in the way we do things as a populace that goes above me and you and everyone else. And if these town halls don't lead to that, well then, what are we doing them for? Jordan says, town halls are just a bunch of people talking about how they already agree from my experience. Mine too, Jordan. <laughs> Mine too. And I again, I like the people involved. Every town hall I've ever been to, I like all the individuals involved. And I'm pointing my finger at myself too. I'm saying, yeah, I've attended a bunch of these things. And then I feel good for 40 minutes, but then nothing happens. You know, so I'm I'm not I'm not wagging my finger at anybody or if I am, I'm wagging my finger at everybody including myself. You know, I'm just saying it's time for action plans. And, you know, whenever I see a town hall, I can't help but feel that way. And I don't want to be the Debbie Downer. I really don't. I'm a comedian. I don't want to be the, the Debbie Downer. I want to be the opposite of that. But, you know, again... There's a lot of emptiness. And, and I think a lot of people are, are just... My guess kind of summed it out, summed, summed it up the way I was looking for, and it wasn't. It's a stroke fest. Emma says, a town hall is a circle jerk. Guys, I'm glad we, <laughs> we've we reached these analogies. This is really what we're getting to the whole time, that it's a it's a circle jerk. Um, and finally, you guys just, just came out and said it. That's what I was looking for. That's what we were getting at. Guys... The circle jerks make us feel good about ourselves. Let's be honest. The circle jerks, the act of doing it at a town hall, not literally in the metaphorical sense, and the circle jerks, the band. I'm a fan. They make some great music, calling it back to Music Monday. But we are in an action-oriented time. We need to take action, and we need significant policy solutions for climate change. It's great doing what you can as an individual. Recycle. I, I, recy I do the best I can. I... I I've picked up litter. I've done all that. I still do. And I'm not patting myself on the back. That's just something you should do as a human. Uh, but we need a Green New Deal. We needed it yesterday. We need, uh, we need to invest in renewable forms of energy. We don't have any, none of our, none of the way we do things is sustainable. We need to do all of that. And we're not. We're, we're not doing any, like, 
And it's not up to us. I mean, the the only thing we can do in that regard is protest in the streets. And I'm saying that protesting in the streets is more fruitful than having town hall after town hall after town hall with a bunch of people who already agree with you anyway. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our own. Get your